74-year-old Tom Stutz of Sherman Oaks, California thought his days were numbered when doctors discovered a melanoma skin cancer that had been removed from his back had spread. So it was in, at that point it was in my liver, my shoulder, my spine, and, and my lung. Melanoma has been on the rise for the past few decades and kills about 10,000 people across the country each year. Until recently, the majority of patients with an advanced melanoma that has traveled around the body had few weeks to months to live. Barely able to breathe or walk, Tom was admitted into a clinical trial at UCLA for a promising new drug, Keytruda, also known as Pembrolizumab. What we're finding with this new treatment is that a significant number of patients who had not responded to prior treatments and had no realistic chances that had the cancer spread throughout the lung, the liver, different parts of the body, the bone, the spleen, are now having the tumor shrinking. Keytruda, just approved by the FDA, is the first drug of its kind to be approved in the U.S. to treat cancer by empowering our body's own immune system like never before to fight the disease. This drug is given as an infusion once every three weeks. And it goes, this infusion goes around the body and finds where the immune system cells are being turned off by the cancer who's trying to hide from it. And it exposes the cancer to the immune system. When a melanoma cancer appears, our immune system in the form of white blood cells moves in to attack the deadly intruder. But that attack triggers a protective counterattack by the tumor itself, a protein raising up from the surface of the cancer cell like a shield to block the attack. This new drug breaks down that protective shield, allowing our immune system to resume its attack, shrinking the tumors, and in some patients, the tumors completely disappeared. From the beginning, lead investigator for the study at UCLA, Dr. Anthony Rebus, knew they were onto something big. As we started to see the results with this drug, the word got around. And even with the phase one trial, we started getting referrals of patients from Denmark, from Spain, from Chile, from Australia, from New Zealand. They were coming here to get an option of treatment. In just a few months, Tom was feeling better, and now, two years later, his tumors have shrunk 90%. I started to get my strength back. I started to do, I was able to walk. I do a loop around the neighborhood here, and I started walking. First, I, first I was able to walk out just to the sidewalk, and finally, by December, I was able to walk like two and a half miles up the hills around here. The good thing about this treatment is that the majority of patients have no significant side effects. Over 80% of the patients, they don't, it seems like we're not giving anything. They have no side effects. This new drug tested at UCLA had a significant impact on a third of late stage melanoma patients in the study and has launched a new era in immune therapy for cancer. With two sons, a daughter and six grandchildren, Tom is grateful for a second chance. The drug saved my life. I mean, that's the bottom line. I mean, there's no doubt about it that I wouldn't be speaking to you if I didn't take that drug. I mean, I can't make it any clearer than that.